So tonight we're going to be making a German 116 infantry cart. So here's just a little kit moved out at the moment and here's one that we made earlier. This one is actually made with FDM printing however the one we're going to do tonight is actually made from resin. Okay we'll get started. Good evening William here from WCP Models um, so you've already seen a quick view of the picture of the kit and now what we're going to do is actually assemble it. So here is one that we have, it's a resin printed uh, infantry cart. We also have um, some FDM printed ones right here. Now there's a difference between these two, I don't know if you can see these. This is an early version, it's got all the framework around the outside. And this is a bit more of a simplistic one which would have come later on in the war when they're trying to use less materials. But the one we're printing or making tonight is the early version. Now another thing that we also have is a few different options when you're building or specking the kit. Now the early version would have come with solid wheels, um, but on the later model version there are also some other types of wheels that they would have used. So spoked wheels, so trying to use less materials. We also have this design here as well. Right, okay. So the first things first is really we're going to be assembling the wheels. So I'm actually going to use one of the spoked wheels just for this particular wheel because they look quite nice. So on the front you will see that there's a little um, hole there that we can actually press the bearing into. So they are proper metal ball races and they do actually just press into the front of the wheel. Then what we're going to do take an M3 bolt here to pass that through the wheel and then we've got these tiny little collars these little spacers that we're then going to thread on so just quickly do these up we're obviously going to do two of these put up two wheels all right so that's that one Second one we're doing. Okay. This is quite an easy build on this particular model. There's not that many parts. Um, so hopefully you should be able to build in just about the same sort of time we are tonight. Okay. So we've got the wheels, and then what we want to do is take the wheels, put an extra washer just on the end there. And now what we're going to do is thread these into the main body, the main frame of the infantry cart. You just need to be careful when we're doing this. This is actually a resin printed body, so we don't want to put too much twist, too much torque when we put the ball together. We just need enough so it holds in place. Take the second wheel, we'll take that washer, and we'll put that in place as well. Okay. The next thing we want to do is put the tire on. Now, for this particular model, it's actually using nitrile rubber o-rings. They're actually a really good size for the wheel and also they just help uh, make it run a little bit smoother, a little bit quieter when we're going on uh, rough terrain. So there we have it. Now obviously at the moment we've got the cart but we've got nothing to pull it forward with. Now the kit comes with two pull handles or two, two draw bars. One's an infantry draw bar and the other one is a vehicle um, tow bar. So this would have been used to tow behind a Ketten Crad or even a Kubel wagon. So in this particular instance we're going to fit on the tow bar. Now what we have here is a tiny little thread in the end of the tow bar. It then turns into the frame. There we are. Now if you were to fit the infantry pull 
Uh, what we would end up doing is actually fitting this on the front. So make some tiny little brackets, but we'll do that another time. If I just show you here on this other one, it's got the infantry pull bar and we have the vehicular um, tow bar mount there. Right, another thing we're going to do to this particular one is I want to put an MG42 mount on it. So we've designed this tiny little mount and then this actually clicks on the top. Obviously, once painted, this would be glued in place. And there's a small mount that allows us to mount this MG42, and that means it can actually swivel around. If we don't have that mount on, um, we've obviously got a lot more access for putting stuff, store in the back of the, the cart. So we've got some jerry cans here, and actually, we can get quite a few jerry cans in there. We can actually get six jerry cans in there. Or this is just a pack 36 um, ammo box. See that can fit in there quite well. We can take those out. On our other model, um, you can actually see that it's actually got some mounts on here. This, these would be wooden racks, um, there for holding Panzerfaust or Panzer Shrek anti tank. Um, so here we are, and they would just hook on. And you could actually have up to six of these on an infantry cart, but I guess it would be quite heavy to pull along. And there we are. Another thing that we've worked on is just some other accessories that you can put in. A tiny little grenade box, so it's hinged, and yes, all the little grenades are actually in there as well. So that's something else which could actually fit in the back. And there we have it, quite an easy, quick, simple build. It's our German infantry cart. Um, I say we have them both in, in the resin design. We also have them 3D printed in an FDM um, design as well. Excellent, thanks for watching. Good night.